Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been like eight months since I uploaded my first video, and even then it was, a, like I said, only one video, so uh, I can't really explain the gap. I'll just blame it on the card shortages, although that's not entirely the reason, but um, I'm here this morning to open up a few of these packs because, um, as we know, opening packs up now can be somewhat of a special thing since you can't just go into like a Walmart anymore and just buy um, a ton of them at this point. You're, you're kind of lucky if you find something like this, which I did the other day. So I bought three of these. They're $10 a piece, which I guess with the promos, the coins, and the two packs um, adds up to be about right. Um, because of that, um, I opened up one. I got some good pulls. I got like a, a Mimikyu V and then um, a shiny Tapu Koko. So that was cool. Um, and when I say shiny, I mean holographic. There wasn't it's not like we're opening Shining Fates or anything. So I guess without further ado, um, we'll just start with this first one here. Um, these promos are pretty cool. Um, I like the Applin one mainly, artwork-wise, but um, I really like them all, technically. So. Okay, so we do have a Battle Styles pack here. Sorry if it sounds like I'm whispering. It is pretty early in the morning. Um, I am still a little bit sleepy, but um, I've been waiting for a few days to open these packs, so I didn't really feel like waiting too much longer. So um, for the first pack here, I'll take out... Oh gosh, this is going to be difficult. I'll take out um, the first set of promos Oof, without damaging the card, or at least trying. It's not the easiest thing in the world. So I love the Applin artwork here. And in this video, um, again, I'm making it kind of a thing because you don't, it's not every day that you can just walk in and see Pokemon cards anymore. So um, I'm gonna kind of take my time, kind of enjoy the artwork if I can. Also, um, currently speaking, I don't really play Pokemon TCG online. So if any of you want the codes, I'll be giving those away as well today. So that's a bonus. Um, I know some people keep those. Um, I may if I end up playing the game more in the future. I'm really hoping that they come out with um, a mobile app like what they did with Magic the Gathering. I think that would be really great. I always hate the way these open up. They don't ever open up like as cleanly as they should. Okay, so um, one of the biggest things that caught my eye when I first went to um, buy this was the Darkness of Blaze because I never really was, was able to get those packs um, individually. So it's nice to have a few of the cards from the set. So I guess I'll take out these promos as well. And here's the code for that. Okay. So we'll get these out of the way. I know the coins are still in there, but um, that's okay. So Darkness of Blaze are, I guess, would be the ones I'm most excited to open. So we'll save those to the end and we'll start with the um, Empoleon set of Battle Styles. Battle Styles was weird and interesting, and um, if I'm remembering correctly, this is the one where I really, really like the artwork. Uh-oh. That's normally a good sign. So I guess I'll do the pack trick because I'm not really sure what, what it is. I think it's moving it forward to the front. So let's try that. So one two, three, four. Hopefully I did that right. And hopefully we got something good. All right, so we have a Luxio. Um, not the biggest fan of that artwork, but I think it's pretty good. <laughs> this Grumpig looks great. I love that. Escape Rope. Psychic Energy. I love these, like, um, almost color pencil um, looking artworks on these cards like look at that Chimeco that looks fantastic if I could do artwork like that I would that'd be awesome oh my gosh this Honage looks great like they all have kind of like a similar style and I think that looks fantastic of course the horsey looks great too Mankey Galarian Mr. Rhyme so that's our reverse hollow and I believe that's a rare yes it is so he looks pretty good too. And what do we got? Ah, so we have a Santa Conda hollow. 
Skull Bash does 120 for three. This one's weird. It's actually like the text box here. It's, it's hard to see, but it's actually a little bit hollow in person. So I think that's a bit of a mistake. I don't think it's supposed to be that way, but... All right, so we ended up with a rare reverse hollow and then just a regular hollow. So not the worst thing in the world, but of course, um, it would have been more exciting oops, um, to have had like what me and um, my friends call bling cards. So let's see if we can't get another one in here. So um, for those of you who don't know, um, if the code card in the back is fully green, it means it's not gonna be a good pull. Like there's no hollow or anything in there. Um, not that the pack is necessarily terrible, um, but if they have like the white background like this on the back of them, it means it's gonna be like something better. So um, I kind of wish I would have never known that because it ruins a little bit of the fun. So maybe I'll, um, one of these days I'll, I'll stop looking, but it's, it's so hard to not look as soon as you crack the pack open. I mean, it's, it's literally staring you right down. All right, so anyway, we have Houndour. I love that artwork. Scatterbug. Not a huge fan of Scatterbug in general, but the artwork makes it up, makes up for it. I love this artwork so much. I think that looks great. Gligar. Electabuzz. Karina's Focus. Okay, so some Gen 6 going on. Pavilion. Okay, that's our rare. Um, that artwork is kind of weird. It's like, it almost looks like South Park art artwork, but... It's pretty cool, I guess. Golbat. I love my dark type, so I'll take any that I can get. Bruno. Very nice. And Charcoal. Charcoal. I've been pronouncing this thing charcoal this whole time. Is it Charcoal? Is that how you pronounce that? Oh my goodness. I've been pronouncing that thing charcoal this entire time. I hope I've been pronouncing that correctly. Either way. Okay, so... Um... A lot of you guys are going to hate me for this, but I think, so out of Eternatus and Charizard, I'd rather have the Eternatus. So we're going to pull the Charizard next. Like Charizard is one of those cards where it's like, yeah, Charizard's cool and all, but like he's definitely overhyped. So if I, if I pull them, I would consider selling them because <laughs> the A can be valuable, but also the collector and he's like never in a million years, you know? So I don't know. You know what? We're not gonna look at the code card until the very end. I'm gonna preach what I'm, or I'm gonna practice what I'm preaching. I kind of like these, um, these cards too with the crochet texture. What would you call that? I'm not even sure. So anyway, we have Trap Inch. I love this vanilla eye artwork. I know somebody who wants it one, so I'm gonna trade that to them. Golette, and yes, we live in a world where we're trading commons, just like when we were kids. Because again, as I said in the beginning, Pokemon cards are not easy to find anymore. Pan Sage. Oh, that skitty looks adorable. Shelmet. Okay, moment of truth right here. Did we get something? No, but it is dark type. Ooh, I will take that. That is awesome. Dark Ride is one of my favorite Pokemon, so we'll, we'll set that over there. I love Dark Ride. Ooh, Laron. But there's a pretty cool aggron in this set. Glimwood Tangle. Pretty cool artwork for a stadium. Ooh, Combustin. Or Combustin. Wow. Combustin. I did him dirty. He's one of those, um, he's one that I grew up with. I grew up with Gen 3, so I cannot believe I I did that. So there's that code card. Alright, last but not least, let's get something good. I like this set. I wish I could have gotten some more of it um, as we went on, but didn't get that lucky. I'm missing a lot of uh, Darkness of Blaze and Vivid Bolt. Those are the two sets that I, I'd like to have more of. So again, I'm not going to look. I love this Torchic artwork. I also love like the 3D claymation artworks. So that's cool. Oh my gosh, that Marini is adorable. Clink. Dunsparce, ew, <laughs> kind of a cool artwork, I suppose, but Jigglypuff, hate that artwork, absolutely hate it. Oh, that's a cool Rowlet. I like that artwork a lot. 
and oh. okay coin clank not hollow clockwork if you do not have clank or clang on your bench this attack does nothing okay so it's like a little bit of a i mean that's cool kind of it does a lot oops hiding energy as long as this energy is attached to a pokemon it provides dark energy oh and it has no retreat cost cool oh that's a cool artwork of Cor corvus squire that's cool that's really neat so unfortunately today we didn't get really anything pupitar that's also a pretty cool um artwork of that and then last but not least the last code card all right so unfortunately we did not get um anything crazy um, here's the, the, the big two pulls that we got. But I really like Dark Ride. I told you I like my Dark type, so I'm happy with that. So, um, sorry it's not the longest video and it's not the longest opening. Four packs, I know, nothing crazy. But, uh, I do appreciate you guys for watching this video. Um, borderline to ASMR at this point. Um, <laughs> but, um, no, this, this was a cool pull. I'm excited about this. Santa Conda, not so much, but I'll take what I can get, you know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, hopefully I get to come back soon with some more pack openings um, once the end of the world is, is done commencing, and uh, we can go from there. So thank you all for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.